My name is James Kennelly. I'm the music director of St. Paul's Choir School um, and St. Paul's Church in Harvard Square in Cambridge in Massachusetts in the United States. I'm Sebastian Hayford. Um, I'm one of the head choristers at St. Paul's Choir School, Harvard Square, uh, United States. I'm Benedict Earhart. I'm one of the deputy head choristers in the choir school of St. Paul's in Harvard Square. The head choristers we created this year, um, I started at the school in August of, of 2019 and I grew up in England in the English um, cathedral choir system and so we always had the head choristers and deputy head choristers and these are the senior boys who, who lead the younger boys, lead in their musical example and by their behaviour, we hope, um, and, and by their extensive knowledge and experience and so Sebastian is our head chorister and Benedict is one of our deputy head choristers and that makes them very respected amongst the other boys as well. I've been in the choir for three years now, um, this is my third year and um, singing is, just makes me happy. I've been in the choir for three years now too and um, I like singing because it's very beautiful and it makes me happy. Uh, my favorite thing uh, about St. Paul's is probably the rehearsals and the masses where we get to learn so much more about music than we already know. My favorite part of St. Paul's is all the singing we do with the rehearsals and masses and the Catholic education we get there. When I was in the third grade, I came to St. Paul's to try out for the school and um, I had practiced for a week on the song that I had sang in my liturgy choir at my old parish and I was really nervous when I did my rehearsal but it was much fun. A parish song uh, named uh, Fly Like a Bird. Okay. <laughs> So when I came to the school, I just recently moved in from Germany and I hadn't looked at many schools. So when St. Paul's accepted to me, they were very kind to me and they just let me join their community. Ich bin in München geboren in 2007 und dann bin ich da habe ich da neun Jahre gelebt in Bogenhausen und dann sind wir in 2016 im August rübergezogen nach Boston. So my favorite song is the Song of Wisdom by Stanford. Why, why do you like that? Come on. Uh, it's very long and nice. It has lots of, lots of <laughs> contrasting sections. It's like telling a, a story and so we, we travel in the music, we travel with the, the story and I think that's why, it's one of the reasons I used to love it as a chorister as well. My favorite song is O Sacrum Convivium by Kenneth Layton. Mm.
So the St. Paul's Choir School was founded in 1963. It was originally a, a regular um, parish school, so it was connected to the church. But in 1963, they started the Boys Choir. Um, and so now the school only educates the boy choristers. It's a day school, so we don't have boarding pupils. They all come from the surrounding area and then leave at the end of the day. And we sing every day. We rehearse twice a day and we sing a mass in the middle of the day and then of course on, on Sunday and then we do concerts and tours and things like that. Yeah, so the school is actually unusual, it's a very small school. We only have um, 38 pupils and that means that we're able to offer a very focused education. The class sizes are very small and so we're able to, to give very specific attention to the pupils. And it also means that the, that the choir is a very intimate experience and so the boys get to know their their colleagues very well and when we sing we're able to to blend and and, and use our voices in a in as a single instrument so the the, the building um, that we sing in the church st paul's church in harvard square is actually very similar to to this building heiliggeistkirche and there's a, a lovely acoustic sound it's quite a big space and so the sound we try to to have the boys create is somewhere between the, the English cathedral sound, the collegiate sound, and the, the European sort of boys' choir tradition that has lots of, of gusto. And so we try and fall somewhere in the middle. And, and, and the concert we'll do today will hopefully hear some of that. A lot of it comes from the language. When we sing in English, it's a little bit more um, intimate. And when we sing in Latin, which is about three quarters of our music, of course, A, E, E, O, U, nice open vowels. And so we, we use the sound to reflect the language. We, we sing mostly church repertoire for the Roman Catholic liturgy and so um, all of the plain song minor propers, the Gregorian um, plain chant, that's the, the core, the, the staple of our musical diet. And then we sing liturgical music like mass settings by Lasso and Palestrina and Monteverdi and, and then of course more um, 20th century works by the English, the Anglican Church, Stanford and Walton and Vaughan Williams and Benjamin Britten and then lots of other music in between and of course some, some American music as well, Morten Loristan and um, Eric Whittaker. So the boys choir uh, supplies the top line, just the, as we say in England, the trebles, the sopranos and the altos, tenors and basses are um, sung by professional men who, who live in Cambridge, live in Boston. But we also have choral scholars and these are people who used to be in the choir and their voices have changed and they return a year or so later and sing counter tenor for the altos or tenor or bass and it's a wonderful way to re-engage the singers once their voices have changed from, from singing soprano.
So this is my third tour with the choir school. Last year we went to Mexico to sing to a For Our Lady of Guadalupe, and the year before that we went to Montreal. Um, so last year we went to Mexico where we sang in front of Our Lady of Guadalupe and in many parishes where we went around um, singing and having fun in all the awesome places in Mexico. So on this tour we have been singing in Salzburg and we're singing a concert here today and we've been touring the city of Munich and we went to sing with the choir of Regensburg. And we also sang at the Frauenkirche in, in München and we sang for a mass when the boys arrived and it was very funny, we had a photograph with all of the boys asleep because they, they flew out that morning on Sunday and then we sing Sunday evening, of course, they're all which was good, but their singing was very nice and lively. My favorite moment on this trip was probably singing all our Mozart songs in Salzburg. My favorite moment on this trip was singing in the Dom, Dom Munich the Frauenkirche. So when we were designing the, the concert repertoire, we obviously wanted to use some of the, the church music that we sing during the year. Um, but we also had to come up with some music that would work specifically in this beautiful church. And the organ is, is just behind us, and then of course the choir sings at the front. And in order to make that work, um, I arranged some pieces and, and we found we had to think very creatively. And so we're singing lots of Baroque music, um, an aria by, by Bach, Tiefgebüt which uses the, the organ to, use, to play the strings and then at the front the chamber organ uh, to play with the choir. And there are three or four other pieces by Ludovico Viadana, which does the, the same thing, the big organ and the small organ, and, and Jesu bleib mit meiner Freude from, uh, by Bach, and also the Stötze bist du bei mir. So we wanted to sing in German, of course, when we're visiting Germany, but then we're also singing some more traditional English music, a very early piece from the 13th century, um, Alleluia Salat, which is a very sort of um, rambunctious uh, medieval setting, Alleluia, um, which will be very fun in three parts. And so mostly the boys sing in one or two, um, but this is in three voice parts. And then some other pieces by Vaughan Williams, um, a beautiful piece called The Woodcutter's Song, which is a very traditional English setting. So we'll hear the many different colours that we try to, to make up with the boys' voices. Mm. 